Welcome to another episode in the Game of Pod series. In this video, we will try to fix a broken Kubernetes cluster as well as deploy a simple file server on it. My name is Vijin Palazi and this is Code Cloud. This episode covers the Pento scenario in the Game of Pod series. The architecture for the scenario is a simple one. We have to deploy a single pod for a simple file server and expose it as a service. The file server will host the contents of a directory on the host and make it available on the web page. What makes the scenario challenging is that we have to troubleshoot and fix issues with the cluster components before we can deploy the pod and the service. We will talk about this in a bit more detail later. Let's first understand how to deploy the file server using Docker. This is a single container setup using the image code cloud slash file server. We will make use of a named volume by making use of a newly created directory called slash web on the Docker host to be mounted on the container. The container is exposed on the host port 8080. As a test, let's copy a file to the slash web directory. Once you verify that the file server container is up and running, navigate to the port 8080 on the host. You should be able to see the file server web page with the contents of slash web directory. Click on any of the listed items on this web page to see the contents of the file. Now that we have tested this on Docker, let's check the Kubernetes based architecture for this scenario in the game of pods. As you can see, in this setup, you are required to identify and fix issues with the master and worker nodes. This needs to be done before you create the persistent volume claims, the pods and the services and all the other related objects that you see in the architecture diagram. Click on the master node and make sure that all the control plane components are running properly. Similarly, Click on the worker node icon and make sure that the node is in a ready state and can run pods. Once the cluster issues are fixed, click on the other items on the architecture diagram and create the objects accordingly. Ensure that the slash web directory is already created on the worker node and create a persistent volume based on host path using this directory. Similarly, Create a persistent volume claim matching the specs of the persistent volume that you just created using the slash web directory. Make sure that the object names created follow the specification provided in the architecture diagram. Next, create a single pod called gop-file-server with the correct image and the correct volume mounts. Expose the file server pod as a node port service. Again, go through the specification to make sure that you are using the correct ports. Make sure that you click on the connector arrows too. In some cases, the connector arrows have the specification that must also be set up correctly for the scenario validation to be successful. In this case, the arrow between the users and the file server service specifies the node port that should be used. Well, that's it for this episode. Be sure to watch the solution video for this scenario next. Thank you for watching this video. Wish you the best of luck with this challenge and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.